rolling? Yep. All right, so uh, Battle of the Bands. Tawa interview, take one. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Oh my goodness, what are we selling away now? Um, basically your soul. Up, uh, oh, nice. Damn it. Perfect. All right. H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. Okay. Oh. Got your head scratching like your boy can't fight. Take a house with me when it feels so nice. Battle of the Bands is a competition between uh, local bands at Penn State um, that are comprised of mostly students. Um, and I guess uh, a group of people select screens, all the applicants and picks anywhere from like nine to 15 acts. Um, and then they all perform back to back and a panel of judges grades them across, I think you know, what, five criterion. For me, it's uh, kind of cool because last October, actually, in 2013, me and John and Derek and another kid who was our drummer at the time played kind of this interesting like cover show where we covered a bunch of Weezer songs. And it was just a really small house party. And then I went abroad and I came back in the fall. And Derek was looking, I think, to get into a little bit more of the singing and some keyboard action. And then we needed, they needed someone else to kind of take over some of the guitar parts. I joined them, I'd say, two weeks ago. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've just been there, guitar player quit, and and Derek messaged me on Facebook, and it was not creepy at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I jammed with them, and I guess I could fit into that style too. Yeah, right really before so. we applied for moving on, we had basically just picked up Leah from just True Hot Night Rapping. So filling out the questionnaire and like thinking about ourselves as a kind of out of the body experience is really cohesive with formulating what our group is actually about, what we want to do. My preparation for battle is, is probably a lot different than a traditional band um, because a lot of my, uh, I guess, performance happens before I get on stage in the sense that like I'm preparing heavily by producing um, electronic sounds and preparing samples and, and loops and, and so whole songs. Uh, we decided we were gonna apply as soon as it came out, and like applications didn't come out until we were like waiting on it. Like we were emailing people about it, and like we were super excited. Isn't it? We try and incorporate as many live elements as possible. There is a, a DJing controllerism element, and I am loading like a lot of loops, a lot of one-hit samples that, that I'm generating at home. A lot of synthesizers that I'll pack with me to play on electric instruments. This is our second year in Battle of the Bands. Uh, this year we felt a lot more prepared, especially like. Uh, Material-wise, last year we were kind of scrambling to write songs for it because we had assembled just a month before. Well, we're, I mean, while we're waiting, we just want to see the other acts. We're not really, I think we're as ready as we can be. There's nothing running through our heads that is going to help us at all. So we're just here to like have fun. I definitely don't get nervous at all. Um, my mom put me in ballet classes when I was like three, so I can't even remember my first time on stage because like little kid recitals. Um, but I've been doing like recitals and stuff on the saxophone as well and like playing with bands for a long time. So before I perform, I just get like massive adrenaline, like super excited, um, just want to go. We've been practicing every single day in the white building <laughs> Two hours. in a yeah. random hallway. Yeah, hallway. <laughs> <laughs> I just brought like my little JBL speaker yeah. and we just, uh, we went budget. through. Yeah. yeah, like we were looking for like studio like, like that were open like down low, but like boxes. Yeah, we were getting yeah. like kicked out and bounced out of room. So we're like, okay, we'll just do it in the hallway. So we just <laughs> do it in the hallway. I have a long background in jazz and I have a lot of classical training um, and a lot of theory background. So working with other artists, is, it's super helpful. Um, especially with people like Zach, who are also theory nuts. Definitely a, a music first emphasis. We, uh, 
Um, usually the crowd response is, is pretty good, but um, I, we're definitely aiming primarily to create like a really musically involved and intricate and interesting set. We do take the crowd into consideration. For example, um, I mean, a lot of the audience at Battle of the Bands is not into electronic music. So uh, we definitely went out of our way to try and build a set that starts very minimally and draws people into the electronics without just hitting them full bore right off the bat. Thank you guys for coming out. Let's make this last show one to remember. Woo! To get Passion Pete to tweet at us. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be like, yo, we're starting a tour to support our new album. <laughs> Uh, we need some openers, like, want to come along? I'd be like, ah, you know, I, I guess. guess. Passion for uh, so, okay. <laughs> This in itself is going to be super awesome. Like, I can't imagine what movement is going to be like. That'd be so much cooler. Like, we were on last year, I went, so much fun. Just, like, to perform for people is, like, what I want to do. So, like, that's just an awesome in opportunity. It felt awesome when I did win. Um, but, like, like I said, I'm hyper competitive. Like, I love winning. I hate losing. I'm not a sore loser, but... Um, yeah, winning is a lot of fun. I definitely want to win again because I feel my first win was a little bit of a shock and awe factor. And the winner is... Who is it? Who is it? New City. Yeah. My heart is dead for you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can feel no more. <laughs> the battle of bands and winning it would really just be a small step and a series of steps that we're very prepared to take. We're hoping to be really big by then. So I do definitely have to defend uh, myself a little bit at Battle of the Bands and like show people, you know, I'm a composer and songwriter and musician first and dance music is a really fun medium to do that in. 